What's up everybody, this is your boy AC And welcome back to another edition Of LA Sports Live Now, as you guys come to the video, do me a favor Go ahead and hit that like button It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it And if you're new to the channel, if you just found me Go ahead and subscribe And while you're at it, make sure you hit that notification bell So you'll be notified every day When we drop new videos here on YouTube You guys see that thumbnail You see the title, the LA Lakers It's not official, but they unofficially announced That uh, next season they plan to uh, play LeBron James, the King, more at power fo power forward, and they want to play AD Baby Goat um, more at the five. Uh, I repeat, the Lakers' plan for next season is to play LeBron James more at the four and AD more at the five. So that kind of makes sense, and that kind of goes in line with all the rumors that we've been hearing for this off season, and the type of acquisitions, the type of players that the Lakers are looking to acquire. They they're looking for playmakers and specifically a point guard. We've heard the Lakers associated with uh, Kyle Lowry, uh, Sexton from Cleveland. Uh, loosely, we've heard their names connected with uh, Chris Paul. So. The Lakers are definitely looking for a floor general uh, to kind of preserve uh, LeBron James, you know, as he is in the twilight of his career. So we get this news. It's not official, but like you guys remember, like, uh, but right before the 2020 season, they, the news came out that the Lakers, they moved uh, LeBron James to point guard full time. And, and, you know, look, look, look what happened. It resulted in a world championship. Uh, but this this is a calculated move by the Lakers, like like I said, to preserve um, LeBron James and also to uh, you know to maximize Anthony Davis. <clears throat> so all in all, I think a good move, a great move by the Lakers. Uh, got to preserve the King, and we got to maximize Anthony Davis. And Anthony Davis got to toughen up a little bit. You know, he's got to get in there and bang with those big guys, and uh, you know. Play his game, and uh, you know the Lakers are paying him big money. They made the commitment, so he's got to be, uh, you know, be able to go out there and produce. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this plan comes together. Um, I don't really have a preference who they pick. You know, I just uh, hey, I just want to get somebody good. I want it to work out. But uh, I, one thing we know about Rob Palenka in the current Lakers uh, front office, they're not afraid to make changes and. Uh, they're not afraid to, you know, look at the current NBA landscape and adjust to, you know, what other teams are doing and, and in some cases mimic what other teams are doing. Anyhow, you guys tell me in the comments below, you think it's a good idea for the Lakers to make the change with LeBron James and Anthony Davis? Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Anyway. It's your boy, AC, LA Sports Live. You guys do me a favor, like I always say, like, comment, share, subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. And I will wrap with y'all later.